How to do the Dukkan Diet The Dukkan Diet is one of a few diet styles that focuses on foods that were eaten in primitive times, when humans did more hunting and gathering. It allows mainly protein-based foods and a variety of non-starchy vegetables. Both of these foods, according to the diet, are essential to rapid weight loss and long-term weight maintenance. The Dukkan diet is fairly simple to follow. It gives you a list of 100 foods that are allowed during and after the diet. You can eat as much or as little of these foods as you'd like. In addition, there are a variety of resources that give you different cooking tips and recipes that makes following the diet easy. Review each different phase of the diet, the allowed foods, and different recipes so you can follow this program successfully. Part 1 – Getting Ready to Start the Dukkan Diet 1. Talk to your doctor Prior to starting any weight loss program or diet, it's important to figure out whether or not weight loss is safe and appropriate for you. You'll also need to talk to your doctor whether or not the Dukkan diet is appropriate for you. Make an appointment to see your primary care doctor. Talk to your physician about your desire to lose weight and get their opinion on how much weight you should lose. Also talk to your doctor about the Dukkan diet. Ask if this type of eating pattern is appropriate for you. It may also be wise to ask your doctor for any tips or advice on weight loss. This is especially important if you have any chronic diseases like high blood pressure or diabetes. 2. Set goals for yourself Whenever you're starting a new diet, it's important to set goals for yourself. Goals can help give you a path to follow and can also be encouraging or motivating to you. In order for you to lose weight and be successful, your weight loss goals need to be realistic. If they're not, you could be setting yourself up for failure. It's typically only recommended to lose about 1-2 pounds per week. Health professionals consider this to be safe and sustainable weight loss. If your goal is to lose 10 pounds, it's not realistic to aim to lose this weight in 2 weeks. You'll need to lose it over 4-5 weeks instead. You may also want to consider setting multiple goals. You can set one long-term goal and then smaller goals along the way. This can help keep you motivated and encouraged throughout your weight loss. 3. Prepare your kitchen and pantry To make sure you're following the Dukkan diet correctly, ITLL be a good idea to prepare your home. Specifically get the kitchen ready, you'll need to stock up on allowed foods and consider getting rid of foods you shouldn't be having. The Dukkan diet has a list of 100 approved foods that you can eat. The diet doesn't provide restrictions on the quantity of these foods. They include all protein sources, like eggs, lean beef, pork, seafood, soy and tofu products, and low-fat dairy. In addition, all non-starchy vegetables are allowed. Print out the list of these foods so you can use this to grocery shop. You can also use this list to make sure that you don't have foods that aren't allowed in your home. Consider giving away prohibited foods to a food bank or friends or just tossing them if they've been opened already. Then, take your approved foods list and hit the grocery store. Stock up on the items you enjoy and that are also allowed on the Dukkan diet. 4. Write up a meal plan and recipe calendar. The Dukkan diet doesn't give too many rules or restrictions when it comes to preparing foods and meals. However, writing up a meal plan can help give you an idea of what you'll be eating over the course of a week. Take some time to come up with your meal plan. You'll need to have the approved foods list for this activity. Write out what you'll be eating for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks during one week of the Dukkan diet. This blueprint of meals can help keep you on track, do meal prep in advance and reduce extra trips to the grocery store during the week. 5. Consider purchasing extra resources The Dukkan diet does provide clients with a lot of extra resources if needed. 
If you are unsure of how to follow the diet exactly, need extra ideas for meals or need some encouragement, consider getting these extra resources. Weight Loss Coaching The Duke and Diet offers coaching to clients. This is a service you'd pay for but may help keep you motivated and on track while you're trying to lose weight. Cookbooks This diet also has several books that you may consider purchasing. They explain the diet in detail, give you information on nutrition and even provide recipes and meal ideas. Blog and Email Service the Dickin Diet also offers dieters the option to sign up for weekly emails or tune into a daily blog. These blog posts may give a unique recipe, a cooking tip, or provide extra motivation. Part 2 Following the Dickin Diet 1. Follow approved recipes and cooking techniques. With any diet, it's important to follow approved recipes, foods, and cooking techniques. When followed appropriately, you'll see the best weight loss. The Dukin diet is made up of four distinct phases, the attack, cruise, consolidation, and stabilization phases. Each phase comes with different allowed foods and cooking techniques. Make sure you're familiar with what phase you're in so you're following the diet appropriately. The Dukin diet typically suggests low-fat cooking methods. Use little to no added fat when cooking. Download different recipes or print out recipes that are appropriate for the Dukin diet. Also make a list of recipes you currently make that would fit into the Dukin diet plan. 2. Eat the right type of protein foods. The Dukin diet specifically lists 68 sources of lean protein that are considered allowed foods. You can eat these protein sources in any phase of the diet. Make sure you only consume the following types of protein. Seafood, arctic char, catfish, cod, flounder, grouper, haddock, halibut and smoked halibut, herring, mackerel, mahi-mahi, monkfish, orange ruffy, perch, red snapper, salmon or smoked salmon, sardines, fresh or canned in water, sea bass, shark, sole, surimi, swordfish, tilapia, trout, tuna, fresh or canned in water, clams, crab, crawfish, crayfish, lobster, mussels, octopus, oysters, scallops, shrimp and squid, poultry, eggs, chicken, chicken liver, Cornish hen, fat, free turkey and chicken sausages, low-fat deli slices of chicken or turkey, ostrich steak, quail, turkey, and wild duck, red meats and pork, beef tenderloin, filet mignon, buffalo, extra, lean ham, extra, lean kosher beef hot dogs, lean center, cut pork chops, lean slices of roast beef, pork tenderloin, pork loin roast, reduced, fat bacon, steak, flank, sirloin, London broil, veal chops, veal scallopini, and venison. Vegetarian protein, seitan, soy foods, and veggie burgers, tempeh, and tofu. Dairy products, fat, free cottage cheese, fat, free cream cheese, fat, free milk, fat, free plain Greek-style yogurt, fat, free ricotta, and fat, free sour cream. 3. Eat Allowed Vegetables in addition to 68 allowed protein foods, the Dukin diet also allows over 30 vegetables. These are only allowed on certain phases, so make sure you pay attention to exactly when you add these foods. Try any of the following allowed vegetables, artichoke, asparagus, bean sprouts, beet, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrot, cauliflower, celery, cucumber, eggplant, endive, fennel, green beans, kale, lettuce, arugula and radicchio, mushrooms, okra, onions, leeks and shallots, palm hearts, peppers, pumpkin, radishes, rhubarb, spaghetti, squash, squash, spinach, tomatoes, turnips, watercress and zucchini. You can start adding in some of these nutritious vegetables when you advance to the cruise phase. However, you do not eat these every day. 4. Start with the attack phase. The attack phase if the first phase of the Dukin diet. 
The goal of the attack phase is to trigger fast and encouraging weight loss. Depending on your weight, you may spend anywhere from just a few days to over a week on the attack phase. The high protein and no carb nature of this phase will put you into ketosis. This is where your body is mainly burning fat for energy. No fruits, vegetables, or grains are permitted during this phase. You need to drink a minimum of 8 glasses of fluids daily to keep flushing the ketones out of your body. However, the Dukin diet recommends even up to 13 glasses of fluids daily. The Dukin diet also recommends to start an exercise program when you start the attack phase. Ideally, exercise in the morning to help burn more calories from fat. 5. Introduce new foods on the cruise phase. This is the second phase of the Dukin diet. You'll start adding different foods back to your diet, however it still is skewed towards high levels of protein and very low levels of carbs. The goal of the cruise phase is to continue to lose a steady amount of weight until you reach your goal weight. In addition, you're eating all 100 of the allowed foods at this time. Although the cruise phase does allow you indulge in more foods, you need to alternate your menus during the week. The Dukin diet suggests alternating between days of all protein, like that of the attack phase, and days where you include both protein and vegetables. Make sure to exercise for at least 30 minutes daily. The Dukin diet specifically recommends fast walking during this stage as your main form of exercise. 6. Start to maintain your weight on the consolidation phase. The consolidation phase is one of the longest phases of the Dukin diet for some dieters. It's based on the total amount of weight you've lost during the diet. This is the phase where you're learning to maintain your weight while adding other foods back to your diet. The consolidation phase length will differ for everyone. You're supposed to stay on this phase for 5 days for every pound you lost. So if you lost 10 pounds, you'll stay in the consolidation phase for 50 days total. The 68 protein foods and 32 vegetables that are allowed during the previous two phases are still the main components of your diet during this phase as well. During the first half of the consolidation phase you're allowed to have one serving of fruit daily, one cheat meal per week and two slices of whole grain bread per day. The last half of the consolidation you're allowed to have two servings of fruit per day, two cheat meals per week two slices of whole grain bread per day and two servings of starchy vegetables per week. In addition to adding some foods back to your diet, follow the attack phase guidelines one day a week. Thursday is the day suggested. Only eat protein on this day. Part 3 Maintaining Weight Loss After the Dukin Diet 1. Focus on the Stabilization Phase Although the consolidation phase starts weight maintenance, it's the stabilization phase that really focuses on weight maintenance long term. You're allowed a significant amount more freedom in your food choices, but need to follow a certain day-to-day -day menu. Although the Dukin diet suggests that you can eat whatever you want, continue to mirror some aspects of the consolidation phase. For example, Limiting fruit to a maximum of two servings daily or only having two servings of starchy vegetables per week. In addition, it's suggested that you eat three tablespoons of oat bran every day. You can add this to recipes, smoothies, or sprinkled on other foods. The Dukin diet recommends continuing one day of the attack phase, protein foods only, to help maintain your weight loss long term. As far as exercise, the Dukin diet wants you to continue exercising and emphasizes the need to increase your lifestyle activity, like taking the stairs instead of the elevator. 2. Weigh yourself regularly. Regardless of what diet you follow long term, one of the best ways to maintain your weight by weighing yourself regularly. This will help make sure you hold yourself accountable to your goal weight long term. Many studies show that people who have lost weight are able to keep it off longer and more easily when they're weighing themselves at least once a week. Make sure to weigh yourself weekly. 
However, weighing yourself daily won't necessarily give you an accurate information day, to, day. Natural fluctuations in weight occur daily so once or twice a week is appropriate. Try to weigh yourself on the same day of the week, at the same time and with the same clothes, or no clothes. This will help give you a more accurate trend over time. Give yourself a small weight range that's acceptable for you. If you go below or over that range, you'll need to address your diet and lifestyle to see where those weight changes are coming from. 3. Join a Dickin Diet Support Group Another important aspect of weight maintenance outside of regular way, INS, is a support group. Whether you attend a support group meeting or have friends or family that support you, this is a key aspect to being able to maintain your weight long term. Many studies have shown that those people who have a support group not only lose more weight, but are able to keep it off long term. The Dukin diet has several types of support systems. You can pay for weight loss and maintenance coaching, sign up for a blog or comment on support group forums. If you're not able to use any of the Dukin support services, ask friends, family members, or co workers if they can be your support group. They may even want to try the Dukin diet with you. 4. Keep a food journal. A food journal isn't only for weight loss. In fact, it's also a great weight maintenance tool as well. Keep track of your meals and types of foods you're eating on a daily basis to help you maintain your weight loss long term. A food journal doesn't have to be anything special. You can download a food journal app or you can keep a paper and pencil version. When you're in the weight maintenance phase, you might not need to journal every single day. Aim to keep track of your foods at least four, five times a week. When journaling, make sure you write down each breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal you have. In addition, write down any snacks and beverages you consume during the day. In regards to the Dickin diet, you may want to make notations on what days are all protein days or days when you're only going to consume lean protein and vegetables. If you notice your weight increasing more than you'd want, come back to your food journal to check where the gain might have been coming from. Tips Always talk to your doctor before starting to lose weight or trying a new dieting pattern. The Dukin diet can help you lose weight as long as you follow the instructions and eat the approved foods. Make sure to pay special attention to the maintenance phase as this can help prevent weight regain 